Hello, and welcome to the SBLNG PowerSchool Parent Overview video. My name is Rory Dippold, and I am the MYP coordinator for Henderson and George Mason. So the goals of this presentation are to learn about the zero through eight criterion scale and what the number means, to learn about the three power school categories of practice, formative, and summative, to learn about the five codes, beginning, developing, proficient, expert, and missing, that are used in formative and summative assessments, and to learn how to read and understand the assignments and scores in power school, including the blue button. So criterion scale in codes. Um, in MYP, each subject has four criterion, A, B, C, and D. Each criterion is scored on a zero through eight achievement scale and used in formative and summative assessments. It is not a percentage, but again, gives you a range. Um, it's based on points in a range on the scale below. Missing code means it was not turned in. So as you look at this criterion scale, you see that students can score a zero through eight on each criterion. Um, and seven and eight is expert, proficient is five and six, developing is four and three, beginning is two and one, and zero means uh, did not meet any standards or criterion. And then missing means that it was not turned in. What you will see in PowerSchool in a few minutes is that the codes are abbreviated, except for missing. So it's EXP for expert, PROF for proficient, DEV for developing, BEG for beginning, and missing is missing work. The descriptors will fit the assessment, meaning that the assessment um, Criterion A, if it's assessing criterion A, the rubric will spell out what the expectations are um, and how it aligns to the assessment. Feedback will be given in order to make progress toward the learning target, and student reflection may be a component of the formative assessment. So the first category that we're gonna look at is practice. And just as a reminder, um, we are using the gradebook in PowerSchool, um, and you'll see three um, categories, practice, formative, and summative. So the first one is practice. It is an assignment broad enough to encompass many aspects. It could be a worksheet, homework, it could be a vocabulary quiz that supports the learning toward a criterion, but not directly related to it. Practice can be out of any determined point value or record of completion. The course may or may not use practice and is not factored into your child's criterion scores in grade. So in the example below, I took a screenshot from PowerSchool and it shows that sample practice one is the assignment, practice is the category, it was completed and it's a score out of 25. Again, practice can be any point value. And then if you click on this view button, you will see that this assignment was scored 22 out of 25. So again, it just gives you a general understanding of how the student did on this particular practice assignment. Next power school category is formative assessment, an assessment that gives students an opportunity to demonstrate their knowledge and understanding and receive feedback to support success on the summative assessment. It is not factored into your child's criterion score and grade but we're really emphasizing formative assessments because this is the opportunity for students to get feedback and then to act on it to improve um, for their summative assessment. Formative assessments must be or will be out of zero through eight based on how many criterion are being assessed. So in this example that you'll see below, the student took a formative on a persuasive essay outline and the student earned a three out of eight on criterion A and a four out of eight on criterion B. So as you see, um, it is out of two criterion, so it's out of 16 points. Um, again, we're not doing percentages, so that's gonna be zero. And then you see that the student earned a three on criterion A and a four on criterion B. 
and you see that the 3, 4 range would be in the developing. So that will be the code that will show up. The next category is summative assessment, an assessment that provides summary information about what students have learned in terms of content and skills. Summative assessments are usually given at the end of a learning period or a unit to evaluate students' progress toward mastery of the criterion and skill. Summative assessments must be out of zero through eight based on how many criterion are being assessed and factored into your child's quarter criterion scores. So in this example, um, persuasive essay, the student earned a criterion A, six out of eight. Um, the student earned a five out of eight on their criterion B. So as you see below here, we have the category summative. We have the title of the assignment, persuasive essay. And we have out of 16 points. Now in a minute, I'm gonna show you this. Um, but you just click on this blue button and then you see the specific um, assessment or score for each criterion. So, um, whoops. So for um, persuasive essay criterion A, the student earned a six. Criterion B, the student earned a five. And again, we look at the code, five through six would be in proficient. Know at the end of each quarter, students will receive a best fit score based on the summative assessments for each criterion A, B, C, and D. If a criterion is not assessed in quarter one, the criterion will be blank. So that concludes our descriptions of um, what you will see in PowerSchool. Um, and that is a great book for all students, but for SBL and G students, we'll just be using practice, formative, and summative. So right now I'm going to show you a lot, um, a test server gradebook, and the student is Henderson six, 6. So when I click on quarter one, you will see here that's zero. Again, we're not adding percentages, but you click on this, and this is what you're going to see as a parent. You're going to see a bunch of assignments um, that include formative and summative and possibly practice. So we're going to look at the assignments that I just reviewed um, so you understand how to navigate PowerSchool. So the first one I'm going to look at is sample practice one. Again, that's a practice category. You see that's 25. So out of 25. And then to see how the student did on it, you're going to click on view here. And it's going to show you 22 out of 25. The next one we're going to look at is persuasive essay outline. Again, this is a category called formative. You're going to see, again, 0 out of 16, 0%. Again, we're not using percentages. And then you're going to see quick snapshot how they did on it, developing. Now, if you want to see the criterion scores for criterion A and B, you're going to click on this blue button. And it's going to tell you A and B three, and four. Last one is persuasive essay. This has zero out of 16. Again, it's a zero percent. And just to give you the code is proficient, meaning that they scored around the range of five and six. But if I want to look at the score, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to see criterion A is a six. Criterion B is a five. Summary slide. So in this short video, I, um, you learned about the zero through eight criterion scale, which again is expert, proficient, developing, beginning, and missing, and what the numbers mean. In the presentation, you learned about the three power school categories of practice, formative, and summative. Practice and formative will include the, the codes. Practice will not unless your student is at Henderson um, and the math department is using practice in coding it. You also learned in this presentation about the five codes.
beginning, developing, proficient, expert, and missing. Again, they're used in formative and summative. And then in this presentation, you also learned how to read and understand the assignments and scores in PowerSchool. Again, a quick reminder is that to see the specific criterion score, you would click on the blue button. Again, this was a very short video. Uh, for further information on SBLNG and PowerSchool, uh, please attend either a session at Henderson or Mason, depending on where your child attends school. And again, my personal information here, contact information, is rdippled.fccps.org. Thank you for your time and attention. Thank you.